play is like、um, a medium that I use to express myself. The beauty about making clay work is sometimes you cannot completely control it. It's that little bit which make it alive. I think. You can use the same glaze twenty times; something can still happen to it. And every time you open the kiln, it's still different, isn't it? And that is the magical thing about clay. When I first started to do this, animals' head and human body, they are more about mythologies and how we believe that in. Chinese,、um, not only humans go to heaven and have the personality, but animals too. So they are equal as human. This period of my work, it was like kind of blend between my education in England, looking at Beatrix Potter or other kind of influence from the European folk art. But recently, my work have kind of go forwards. I still use the images of Chinese、um, character, mainly Chinese animals or mythical animals like tigers and ox and things. But I use it in a much more personal way. They become、um, how I feel about human character. It is like the self-portrait. I decided that every day I'm going to make something the same, but they are different because every day we have a different mood and emotions. So I make the things using different techniques to kind of express myself. So it's the same self but differently. To me, this piece is a self-portrait again, but I'm hopefully in a paradise. The leaves grow from my leg, so it's like a tree, and that is full of chrysanthemums. So it's like a bed of flowers, and then the hair turn into a bird. So it's like me flying in paradise, even though the face is a little bit sad. All those pieces are made when, you know, I'm happy, but there's always a little bit sadness because I'm always not quite well and happy. I'm happy, but I wish I can be well because every few years my cancer come back. So and then you just don't know where you are, and it disturb your life and disturb of everything. You cannot control and plan things ahead. I suppose our whole process of life is about transformation. So, like this piece, the hair, one grow into the snake, which is my husband, and the others become a bird, which probably me. So, the figures of. Myself turn into one between the marriage, so you become one person. So this is the glaze room. I make this piece because I was very shocked when I hear that my cancer came back again, and so is the hair kind of because I've been making hair as. Part of me, so it was like a dying hair, and the ox is Daniel who's presenting it. Now my work become more personal. The fox here is me, and the ox here is my husband Daniel, and the figures on the top is the baby we never have because we got married two years and then I was ill. So we never manage to have children, and that's why it's have no face because it's it's 
is not exist. So that is the lion dog. <laughs> it's quite fun. Daniel's used every day. He will move the lion dog a little bit. So as if you're walking the dog. So every time you get up in the morning, oh, there's the dog. He's here. In the olden day, people never seen a lion before. So they described the lion as a lion dog. I just find it very interesting that it is not quite a real, but only a mythical animal, which, like life, is not quite real, but maybe we all just mythical. I'm now back to chemotherapy. Hopefully it will work and maybe I can live for another 12 months or, and then I don't know, life is just 12 months at a time or six months at a time. <laughs>